The parking lot of the mall in Columbia is usually packed on Black Friday, but looks more like a busy Saturday this year. It is a very good day. It's a very strong day, but it's not quite the traffic that we have on a normal Black Friday. It is a different year, but we have learned a lot on how to provide a great shopping experience in a healthy way. Senior General Manager Barb Nicholas says foot traffic is down, but the stores are doing well as far as sales. They've expanded their curbside pickup locations and are operating at 50% capacity with numerous safety measures in place. I feel safe um, in the mall. Um, they have, you know, everything marked where you're supposed to stand, six feet apart, sanitizer everywhere, so they're taking precautions very well. I think everyone kept their distance, everyone had their mask on, and uh, there was hand sanitizer available, you know, people use it. But online sales this holiday season are expected to break all records. According to Zentail, a company that works with third-party sellers online, sales in November and December are expected to reach close to $200 billion because of the pandemic. A lot of sellers have been experiencing, uh, you know, fourth quarter-like volumes since the pandemic started. Um, you know, we saw a 55% increase year over year in months like July uh, over the summer. CEO Dan Sugarman says that's because the people who are most at risk for COVID-19 were the group most reluctant to shop online. Online retailers are expecting such a crush this season, there could be shipping delays. So the key this year is to shop early. I think you can still rely on the estimates that, that places like Amazon are giving you. Um, but I would say don't, don't wait. Here at the mall in Columbia, they are still offering a Santa experience both in person and virtually. You can find information on that on a link on our website, WBALTV.com. Reporting live in Columbia, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.